Hey everybody, it's your old pal Wood Doofus here. Let's talk about this Purple Heart Wood. I've been using Purple Heart for a short time to make some cutting boards and I run into some obstacles. So basically Purple Heart is a very strong wood that originates from the area between Brazil and Mexico natively and it has a natural purple color but the the tricky part is it's not always purple. When it's freshly cut or freshly milled, it's gonna be a really dull, kind of ugly brown. So what is it that makes the purple come out in the purple heart? From what I understand, typically it's sunlight, like UV radiation or other types of heat that bring out the purple color. And something I've noticed is the more heat you put on it, the darker purple it will get. This wood's been sitting around in my garage for a little while, so it has a pretty good purple color to it, and if you were to sand it and add some oil to it, it'd be really attractive. But let's see what happens when I try to mill it down. So here's what the two pieces look like before I put them through the planer. And here is what they look like after. So you can see this dull brown that shows up when you start to plane it. Now that could be really discouraging when you're making a cutting board and you want it to have a nice purple stripe in it and then all of a sudden it turns brown. So today what I'm gonna try is three different ways to bring the color back out of the Purple Heart wood after it turns brown. This will help me make sure that the cutting boards that I'm making will have that bright purple stripe that I've been looking for. The first thing I want to try is leaving a milled cutting board out in the sun and just see if that sun throughout the course of the day will change it from brown to purple. So I got a freshly milled brown here and I got a cutting board outside that's been sitting there for at least half the day in a good amount of sunlight. So let's check it out. All right, so here's my cutting board that's been sitting out in the hot sun all day. And as you can see, I see some good purple on here. Let's put the freshly milled piece for contrast right here. You can see quite a difference just in half a day sitting outside. So here we are back inside and I just wanted to let you see the color with the inside light too. And uh, it worked out really well. I think both sides have a really good purple color to them. And this is before it has any oil or anything. So it'll get uh, shinier and darker with the oil. And here's the, here's the other brown piece just for the contrast. Overall, I think this first option of leaving out in the sun for a little while is, is pretty successful. So that's one option. I'm no expert. I don't have a lot of experience with this, but from what I understand, just the age of Purple Heart as it gets older will continue to get more and more purple. So if you bought a cutting board that has Purple Heart that you don't think is bright enough, Go ahead and stick it out in the window and give it some time and see what happens. The next thing I'm gonna try is a heat gun. I'm gonna go ahead and put some heat on this brown one here and see what kind of results I can get from this. I'm just gonna go ahead and crank it on to the highest setting and see what happens. So here are the results of the heat gun. Now you can see this is a pretty dark purple and here's the original brown on this side. Go ahead and put this, uh, the more natural purple is here and here is the heat gun purple. Now one thing I notice is it's hard to kind of avoid the splotchiness of the heat gun. You wanna kind of go back over it to get the splotches but when you do that, you run the risk of making it too dark purple and it could eventually just turn black if you're not careful. So there are risks involved with this, and it's difficult to avoid some level of blotchiness. Here's a board that I made with the heat gun, and as you can see, it's a pretty dark purple, and it goes pretty well with this. But I, don't, I haven't ever made one without the heat gun, so I'd like to see how it turns out. The last thing I'm going to try is just heating it up with a blowtorch just to see what will happen.
So there is the blowtorch. As you can see, it's not much different than the heat gun, but it did go way faster. Here's the, here's the heat gun next to it. And here's the original. Which one? Yeah, this is the blowtorch on top. And this is the original purple here. So as you can see, that was fast and it got dark really, really well. So this is an option, but there's problems with this option because what happens is, is you put it in your cutting board and then you mill it down and then it's brown, but then you have your stripe amid all other kinds of woods and you want to heat that up and sometimes you run the risk of scorching it. So like with this cutting board, I tried to heat up this strip and every once in a while I would scorch the maple next to it and I'd have to sand it down. Now what happens there is your purple that you put on there is actually only a superficial layer of purple. And what's going to happen is you're going to sand it down to get rid of that scorch. And on top of that scorch, there's some roughness in your purple because you just heated it up. So it needs the light sanding anyway. But as you sand it, you might cut through the layer of purple that you just made. So it's tricky. I think for this board, I'm just going to stick with the sunlight and maybe try some other boards a different way. But I, I want to try the sunlight on this one because of the risks involved with the scorching and the roughness that goes with both the heat gun and the blowtorch. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this board. I'm gonna wrap the edges and uh, sand it up and get the oil on it and see what it looks like in the end. So I have a finished cutting board here and I think it turned out just fine. It has a really good purple color on this chunk and this chunk, which is where my purple heart is. And uh, I will say that I learned something pretty important, and that is that when I set this out as a freshly planed item and got the purple out from the sunlight, I came in and I routed out these chamfers and it created some brown stripes. So I ended up having to sit it outside again, but I timed it this time and took a time lapse. And I only left it out there for 45 minutes and the color came right back. So I like the way this turned out. It is fine and I think it's perfectly reasonably purple. And from what I understand, it gets more purple over time. Now here's a contrast between the one that I used the heat gun on. It's just the one purple stripe there versus this purple. As you can see, it's a different kind of purple. This is darker and kind of richer. This one though, I think is more consistent as far as the color and it seemed to be a little deeper also. Deeper meaning that you can sand it and not lose the purple color that easily. So I think there's room for both of these options. This is definitely an easier way to go just to set out in the sun and let the natural UV radiation turn it purple. But this is an option too if you're just making one and you like the darker purple. Anyway, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. If you're interested in buying one of these cutting boards, check out my Facebook business page in the description. If you have any experience with Purple Heart that you think is useful to this discussion, make sure to leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Otherwise, as always, don't be afraid to be a doofus. Bye.